video is called Crunchyroll Betrayed Anime Fans. Uh-oh. The saga continues ever since with the woke localizers, the AI subs. And now, what's going on, Rev? Tell me. Hey, what's up, guys? Rev here. Sorry for the lack of a VTuber model. I'm currently on the tail end of a vacation. However, I saw some news that I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about because I'm... <laughs> He's just a static frame today. He's on vacation. Bro is grinding while on vacation, bro. You got to respect that, right? He's on vacation and he still makes time to farm this content. God bless this man. I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about because... I'm sure a lot of you are already aware, but it has been announced that Crunchyroll has yeah. completely removed the comment section on- For those not aware of what's going on, basically there was a Yaoi BL anime that got brigaded with a lot of homophobic comments. Crunchyroll disabled the comments, opted for the nuclear option. Why? Because they have a lot of, you know, liabilities with the comments since they have a lot of sponsorships or collaborations with huge corporations like Sony and whatnot. And, and instead of having moderation and having tools to filter through those and, you know, moderate, they took the lazy approach and they said, remove all the comments, fuck it. But apparently that might have been like the last straw that broke on the camel's back. It, it was maybe like a bunch of different things that's been boiling over the last few years, but no comments in Crunchyroll right now on the platform including from episodes and articles this is a very radical decision one that really removes one of the most separating features they have compared to all other streaming services that have real homies Crunchyroll Crunchyroll comment section bro I'm all about the fucking pirated manga fucking website comment section what the pirated anime comment section, bro. They got better memes. They got a better community over there. I'd rather read those comments than the Crunchyroll fucking comments, bro. Have anime. And isn't it funny how every time all these companies make decisions that are apparently to make the site more user-friendly, they spend all their time removing things that are actually liked by the users. But before we get into my personal reaction, also kind of the group mm -hmm. reaction to this on social media, let's read the... What the fuck was the point of this girl whatever here? I'm just like, why is there a tweet of, you know, this? You know, with a Crunchyroll tweet. Then there's just like a fucking picture of just a Revsay VTuber model. <laughs> He's just coomer baiting right now. Action to this on social media. Yeah. Let's read the reasoning from Crunchyroll themselves for All this right. decision. So titled, Protecting Our Community. Why is Crunchyroll disabling comments? At Crunchyroll, we prioritize. Uh, this is all bullshit. This this part is just all this corporate speak. None of that shit matters. The reason they're disabling this is simple. They just want to make more money. And if you have, you know, monkeys commenting sh stupid shit, it looks bad and they might lose sponsors and advertisement. So they call that shit. Rather than trying to have a different tool to moderate and make, you know, make both ends happy of the corporations and the collaborations that you're doing and the users happy rather than you know trying to find a way to moderate they decided fuck it let's just bow down to the corporate overlords and just 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 make money it's creating a safe and respectful community environment to maintain the standard we are hiding all existing user generated content including comments and reviews across all of our platforms and experiences so we're waiting until sunday to watch nokotana what joe Joe, you fucking watched it. <laughs> I, Cause I know what's like you watching that shit from Joe. You, you were the first Nokotan reactor to put that shit <laughs> on day one. And I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> based, based. Honestly, I'm not, I, I'm not jealous of that Nokotan. I'm jealous of your fucking elusive samurai, bro. Your elusive samurai reaction is fucking lit. It is on fire. But right now, yeah. Nokutan Sunday. We're watching Sunday slots right now. Yeah, Nokutan Sundays. We're striving. We're always striving to enhance the user experience for our fans, including how they connect over the content they love. We okay. encourage fans to share comments and connect with other fans on our social media channels. So instead of talking, instead of talking on, you know, about the episode on Crunchyroll, y'all should follow the Twitter and, you know, y'all make, make your own group chats and stuff like that. The user rating system will, however, remain allowing you to express your opinions through yeah. star ratings. 
Yeah, guys, it's review bomb their ass. Fuck them. You want star ratings? You want star ratings? Brigade them ass. It's for your safety, numb nuts. Don't you get it? We're actually the good guys. We're looking out for you. You couldn't be uh, trusted to deal with people making comments that you might not like. You're too weak to deal with that. So we're going to save you. Yeah, it's a big load of malarkey. I think this has to do a lot. Ain't no way bro said malarkey, but honestly, it's kind of like funny to say malarkey because of Joe. Uh, with cutting not Joe Freshest, but Joe Biden. Corners and cutting costs, as always. But on top of that, avoiding any criticism. So let's start with this decision itself. It is a terrible one. I think 99% yeah. of people do not like this decision because this feature, the comment section, especially on episodes, is what separates this platform from any others that stream anime. It is something unique that most don't. Really? Like no other legal you know anime streaming services they don't have a comment section something as simple as that they don't even have it that's kind of interesting i feel like again like I, is the comment section going away a big deal i i thought most people just pirate anime I, I think a lot of normies don't know how to pirate or torrents they probably just like watch it from crunchyroll so the comment section was probably a huge experience for them and suddenly having that pulled away it must be like a, a disrupting experience for sure at this point, I'm sure, like, just, just, there's different options out there, man. You have the internet, man. You don't have to just use Crunchyroll. Don't have. This was something that people could actually utilize. This was something that I did. I haven't had a Crunchyroll subscription in many years, but back when I did, that was one of my favorite things. After an episode, go to the comment section, see yeah. what people had to say about the episode. And yes, yeah, that's kind sometimes... Of that's kind of felt a long time ago, too. After, after I watched, like, an episode of anime, I go to, like, the subreddit on anime, right? I don't know if you guys hate that subreddit or not, but like, you know, it's an episode discussion forums, right? Not just on Reddit, but different like um, websites too. Just like a forum of people discussing about the anime episodes and what they enjoyed and stuff like that. It, it really does add to the experience. It's, it's like a whole, it, the whole anime watching experience doesn't just end at like watching just the episode. And then it's like, you want to talk about that thing you enjoyed with other people that have the same hobbies, right? And that's the beautiful thing about the creating the community. But if Crunchyroll kind of takes that away, it's kind of cringe, right? You're going to run into trolls. You're going to run into spoilers, but guess what? That's the internet, okay? It's going to happen no matter where you're looking for any sort of feedback on an episode you just watched. Yeah. And on top of that, if you have an issue, right? If you have an issue with people spamming things, doing misleading things in the comment sections of these episodes, you know what you do? More Moderate. moderation. It's Moderate. that simple. Get more moderators. But they're too lazy. So they did the nuclear pro to like, we could try to give a fuck and come up with different solutions. But why spend money and resources on that option when we could just ban the comments and just lick Sony's asshole and just keep making bank? Well, people are just going to stop using the platform. Will people stop using Crunchyroll just at the comments? I don't think so. This might be the beginning of like a movement to go away. But at the end of the day, I, I think of, uh, I don't know like a ballpark figure number, right? I'm just, I'm, I, I am just estimating, but I do not think more than 50% of people that watches anime on Crunchyroll uses the comment section. Not just talking about just commenting, but even just like reading over the comments. So this may not be that big of a deal to their bottom line that we're thinking. Maybe it's like the sweaty top 10%, top 5% that actually engages in the comment feature. And this is like a vocal minority being upset at Crunchyroll when at the end of the day, Crunchyroll has the data and they're like, yeah, we're confident. We don't need the comments. We can just get this shit out of there. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But of course, that costs money and we know that's one of the reasons, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But this decision itself to remove comments is also clearly an act of censorship. Let's be honest here, okay? We know yeah, that is. a lot of this is to censor negative reviews on episodes, negative reviews on articles, things like that. Because... I believe in Crunchyroll's mind, they think if people are leaving negative comments about an episode, people might look at the comments first and say, hmm, not a lot of people don't like this. Or and then I'm not going to watch, and then the watch time goes down, less people use the Crunchyroll app. Huh. Huh. The less, the, the more you keep people in the dark about specific anime or episodes, the more likely they're going to click on the video and watch it. I never thought of it like that. That does make sense. A lot of people don't like this series, or this article is, must be pretty bad. So they either leave negative comments themselves or they just avoid it completely. And I guess that is their reasoning behind this decision. And really, with Crunchyroll and censorship, is it really that surprising that they would do something like that? No, it's really not. 
And the second reason I think they're doing this is to cut corners. Like I mentioned. Yeah, I think they're just being lazy. They're just saving resources. Instead of having moderation, they went the nuclear lazy option. They need more moderation if there's an issue with these comment sections going awry. And of course, to have more moderation, what do you got to do? You got to pay more moderators. And time and time again, Save Crunchyroll resources. has proven that they don't want to go the extra mile when it comes to paying for things like that. And on top of all this situation, of course... It's Crunchyroll. Why would they do anything that's beyond what they have to do? They have been squeezing money out of their, their customers for years and years. This is just a joke. And I think... For squeezing money out of customers or crunching money out of customers? I'm sorry. Is there a different competitor that can arise for Crunchyroll? Like, it's, be, like, it's the licensing, right? Crunchyroll began as like a pirate website, did it not? It was Ill illegitimate. And then at some point... It started to have uh, different ways to get rights and licensing for a lot of different anime titles. And then it became what Crunchyroll is now. Can there not be competitor or websites that kind of does the same shit and eventually gets legit? Because like the beauty of capitalism anyways and regulated capitalism is that, you know, there's going to be competition. You offer a shitty product, shitty service, someone else is going to see all the pain points of the clients and then and fill that need. So like, won't they do that? Funimation bought Crunchyroll? I thought that... And then what happened? Didn't Funimation and that shit just like go away? The Sony brought Crunch... There, it, it's a whole fucking human centipede of different corpos fucking eating different fucking corpos, right? But right now, it's gonna turn into a monopoly. And then if there's no competitors, just, just, just use the internet. You don't have to use Crunchyroll. Vote with your wallet. Vote with your feet. If you don't like the fucking service, do a little bit of research online. You have the power of the internet. You can do whatever you want. You can watch whatever you want. Do I condone pirating and stealing? For them, it's obvious. It's, it's not just censorship. It's also the cost of doing this. And on top of this, there's been a lot of negativity recently. And I don't think... Sony owns Funimation and bought Crunchyroll as Funimation and then killed Funimation to consolidate just Crunchyroll. That's what was going on before, right? Yeah. And then they were also like justifying why the tier prices are going to go up now because like now the Funimation's gone and it's just Crunchyroll and it's almost like turning into a monopoly. So Sony is basically at the top with Crunchyroll and there is no other real competitors for live anime streaming services right now. We're basically fucked. I think Crunchyroll wants to deal with this. So there's two examples that come to mind about recent shows that are causing issues in the comment section. So number one, Senpai wa Otaku Naku. So Rev, you're a weeb. There's no way you just pronounce Senpai wa Otoko Noko as Otaku Naku, bro. There is no way. There is no way, Rev. Like, you are not a tourist, bro. I know your ass be calling fucking Attack on Titan Shingeki no Kyojin, right? There is no way you just butcher that. Wa otaku naku. Otaku naku, bro. Otaku. My senpai is a fucking otaku. <laughs> so, for those who don't know, it is an anime about yeah. a cross-dressing male. A yeah. male-identifying character who cross-dresses. Yeah. A male-identifying character. But for some goddamn reason... Twitter has convinced themselves that this character is trans for their classic Twitter and trying to self-insert them into representation of mediums that they're not even part of, right? Like the dude represent it's like, like, I am not an expert at this, but like, I'd like to think that I have some awareness in the culture shift or like different mediums. And like in this specific example, it's a crossdresser. What is a crossdresser? They still think that they're a man. They identify as a boy, right? The gender here. They don't think that they're a woman. Now, if you actually transition, right? That's when you become trans and you identify as a woman despite your chromosomes saying otherwise. Well, that's, that's the entire thing. But Twitter is just another level of mental fucking illness. Their own political agenda. And it's very, very weird. And there are battlegrounds in the comments of those episodes. And it's really, really messy. And maybe they don't. Battleground within the trans and, and, and the, like the trans community and like what the gay community like what, what, what is it? I, I don't know. I don't want to moderate it. Maybe they just don't want to deal with it at all. And that's maybe something to look at. But that whole situation is way too big for this video. That's something we might look into. Please, please farm another video. Senpai wa Tokonoku broke Twitter or some shit. I'll watch that video too. In a future video. And on top of that, they recently got busted showing 
AI translated subtitles in the episodes of my Uh-oh. dear friend Nokutan. Now yeah. that whole situation is something I covered a few days ago. It was a we pre-scheduled that. video I'd actually recorded almost a week ago, and I'm glad I kind of waited because that's when things kind of blew up with that anime and the AI yeah. translations on Crunchyroll. So to clarify, it was not Crunchyroll who made the actual Remau or some shit, right? That's like a different party that was doing it, but then we can still play in Crunchyroll because they should have proofread. Subtitles for that episode. It was a third party. However, Crunchyroll just accepted them, right? It was machine and AI translated mm. subtitles for their episodes of this mm. very popular anime, and they did not proofread it. Like, clearly, they did not proofread it. And that situation is funny for two reasons. Number one, localizers are really upset, crying about AI translations, and people are just looking at them and saying, well, AI translations are slop, but at least it's AI translations, not your woke, ridiculous localization. And I got a lot of comments in the last video that I farmed where it's just like, there's two um, fields. The one side is like, you know what? There's some people that's vehemently against AI no matter what, because obviously it doesn't feel good losing your job, right? It doesn't, thank you Corny for the gift to sub, man. I appreciate that. Like it, it doesn't feel good seeing other people lose their jobs. And you know, technology will, it's, it's going to, keep expanding and growing like like look at the industrial revolution for example right do you see still people riding horses and shit a long time ago people used to fucking ride carriages and horses what do you think they started thinking when they saw a fucking car on the road you're about to fucking lose your job no one likes that shit right so they're gonna be opposing it no matter fucking what and i can understand that but like then there's a, it's it's the other side of like okay there's some people that's just fully accepting of you know woke localizers saying i'd rather still have a human do it rather than people lose their job and then there's the other side where it's just like nah fuck them people trying to push their own political agenda i want ai subs no matter what who gives a fuck the end product is pretty much readable it's like what 80 90 percent correct i don't care if some parts are lost in translation this is probably a better representation of what the anime is trying to say from the source material compared to what woke western localizers are trying to you know inject into you i'm not really sure i don't know i i I think that the future will be like a hybrid model, right? Where a person will basically take a parsed um, sub translator from whatever AI model that they use. And then the person will then go in and make sure that there's nothing lost in translation currently with their technological like um, limitations. Like in Nokutan, I think a big problem was someone said uh, the shoujo, right? Shoujo can be interpreted as a lady or it can be interpreted as virgin. Those are some things that's just like lost in translation. That's why a human kind of being there to make sure that it makes sense kind of makes sense for now. But... I don't know. Fuck both ends, I guess. That we would rather have uh, machine translations than your garbage localizers. But on top of that, it made Crunchyroll look really bad because clearly they weren't proofreading anything. They're getting these translations for a very popular yeah. anime right now. And they're just... You're using AI translation in Japanese? Yo, separate channel. Joe Fresh, JP Freshest. All your videos re-upload, but with, a with JP subtitles. Well, Mr. Beast actually used to do that. Not with AI subs, but like, um, he had like a team uh, that re-uploaded the same content, but in Spanish, because there's a lot of Spanish viewing audience that would prefer watching it in Spanish subs. But for some reason, I think he closed those and it combined it all to the main channel. And there's like more subtitle offered in the main channel now. But, but yeah, can't re-upload. Oh, maybe YouTube would think that it's like, um, it's like fraud or something, right? They're going to be like, oh, you're re-uploading content. Exactly, right? They, they can't monetize that shit. Yeeting it out. I believe the translations were machine translated for the English, German, French, and maybe one other set of translations. But the major countries, and they were completely botched. And they couldn't take the time to sit down, even for episode one, to watch through the episode and make sure these translations were at least... No, why would they do that? Why would they spend the time and the money that they do have <laughs> and decide to waste it on making the user experience better? No, we're at the end game of capitalism, baby. We're just trying to milk money. Everything. Cut corners. Cut, cut, cut. Min max, min max, min max. This is not necessary. Fuck it. Let it roll. It's readable because in some cases they were completely incomprehensible. They made absolutely no sense. So I think... Maybe some of these events, these recent events that have made Crunchyroll look bad or there's some hostility going on in the platform. I don't know if those helped with this decision. Who knows? But really, overall, I think this is a terrible, terrible look. For It's simple. Stop using Crunchyroll. Vote with their wallet. Cancel your Crunchyroll subscriptions. Go oh, fucking pirate anime. See if I give a fuck. See if they give a fuck. They will. Because once you hit them where it hurts, their wallets, then real changes will happen. But until that happens, until all the monkeys can unite... 
and actually have a movement, nothing will change. Making videos like this, farming it, it's good for me, right? I'm just making money off of just watching this drama happen unfold. But if you want true change to happen, like just videos like this is going to go you nowhere. Know, it's nice to have coverage of this, what's going on, right? But then if you really want real change, like we need to unite. Every monkey needs to band together and say, fuck Crunchyroll. We're going to use something else. And when that happens, either a different competitor product will show up that we'll go to, or Crunchyroll will get their shit together. And Sony will be like, shit, people are actually losing. There's a people are actually, you know, leaving. We're, our users are going away. You know, our, our pricing is getting shit. We're losing our bottom line. We need to change something and then we'll listen to your, you know, your words. It's the same shit with like gotcha games too. Random as example, but I play a lot of gotcha games and anytime the developers try to do some sneaky ass shit They try to do something that's really pay to win and pisses the players off Everybody review bombs Everybody fucking bands together and lets them know right it hits them where it hurts and the Apple store the app store Whatever it is they get the low rating. They're like shit. They're fucking mad Let's fucking have a conversation and meet halfway right and again this will never happen unless you actually act But how many people actually care about the comments, right? How many people genuinely care? I think most people are apathetic in nature. I think that most people are genuinely so apathetic and they just don't care and they're, they're like, comment section, yeah, it's kind of sucks, but they'll get used to it by later and then they'll just keep using Crunchyroll without even thinking about it. This is the behavior of the average person. For Crunchyroll, and again, why wouldn't people pirate anime at this point? It just makes those things look e They just don't know. I think like normies straight up don't know how to pirate. Like, they just don't know, like, just type it in the fucking search bar. Nokutan episode 1 free reaction, you're gonna get like 30 different fucking websites streaming all that shit, right? And that's just streaming, you can like torrent, like there's so many different options, but the average person just doesn't have that knowledge. So they think that Crunchyroll or like fucking Netflix is the only option. Netflix never fucking made sense to me either. It's like, you would pay money to have shows on Netflix to watch when you could simply search that title on the Google search bar and get like a hundred separate options to watch it for free. That shit never made sense to me. Even more desirable to people and attractive to people. You think about what Crunchyroll brings to the table, right? You're paying a good- Time and convenience? That's what I'm saying. Time is money. And it's way more convenient to fucking watch shit for free rather than fucking paying money that you don't have for a fucking service that you don't need. Good price for Crunchyroll and a price that- Netflix app on your TV? Well, you could fucking- just yeah if you have a smart tv it's it, that is convenient right but i'm thinking like can you not project your fucking connect your tv to your fucking pc and control your pc somehow with the remote and watch your fucking pirated shows on your tv as if it's netflix yeah th there is a convenience factor it continues to increase over time and people have put up with a lot with crunchyroll bad quality of their broadcasts the website constantly crashing and having Leaking. technical issues Security leaks, right? Episodes leaking. Tower of God is already leaked, brother. Uh, people having uh, issues, losing their account, price increases, censorship across the board, all kinds of issues with Crunchyroll over and over over the years. And now you remove really the best feature they had. Why would you keep using Crunchyroll at this point? It's very silly to me, honestly. Stop using it. Walk away. Stop using Crunchyroll. You want Crunchyroll to be better? Stop fucking using it. Honestly, and that, at this point, like pirating anime, like to combat piracy, as they always say, the best way to do it is to provide a good, good service. service. And Crunchyroll is not doing that. You're making people want to pirate. Your service fucking sucks. Why would they fucking use your shit service when they can just get it for free? They were removing everything that that platform has held dear. And now they're expecting you to not only accept that, but pay more for it. And it's ridiculous. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. As True. always, please share all of your thoughts. Y'all know what to do. Go give. Yeah, I heard the knuckle with deer pun there. Go give Mr. Reva like he's on a holiday and he's still pumping out content to farm. And yeah, it is actually bullshit, right? As long as people keep using this site, nothing will change. You want action? You better band together as a collective group and say, we're going to stop using Crunchyroll. And when that happens, when everyone stops using it, the corporations will listen. But until then, nothing will happen.